why I chose OBGYN, I wanted my brother, who was two years older than me, was in general surgery residency, so I know I wanted to do something surgical. But when I did OB, you know, delivering babies, the primary care aspect, you know, actually having patients that you could build a relationship with and see over and over, that really appealed to me. Instead of just doing surgery on somebody and having them move on and not seeing them again, you know, being more in contact on an ongoing basis with them kind of appealed to me. And really, ob the only specialty I know of that you really get the chance to do that, aspects of surgery and primary care. Coming from the South and growing up in the South all my life, I had the impression that people in the South were nicer than the people in the North or what we call the Yankees. But this area, I have never met a nicer, more um, down to earth and appreciable group of patients in my career. Yeah, I love my job. I have the best job in the world. If you love what you do for a living, you'll never have to work a day in your life. You know, sometimes somebody can come in in severe pain with a ruptured ovarian cyst or a degenerating fibroid of the uterus, and in 45 minutes, we can have them cured of that pain. So, you know, that is, you know, making the patient happy, that makes me happy. And I do consider myself a Christian. I by no means am a perfect person. I don't think anybody is. But it is at least something that drives me on a day-to-day -day basis to be as much like Christ as I possibly can, you know, with the way He loved. I, tr I think it makes me a more caring, empathetic physician. There's people that are afflicted with so many things and we suffer in so many different ways that I think it helps me understand how they're suffering and how I can help them ease their suffering a little bit. So, you know, one of my little sayings I said to myself, you know, is walk, walk in love as Christ loved us. And I think that can get us a long way these days. Mm -hmm.